discuss the development of tongue but before starting with this lecture i would like to suggest you please go through the lecture of pharyngeal arches and uh, thyroid gland so you are aware of this diagram that is uh, the pharyngeal arches so there are five arches because fifth arch it just disappear and we are left with first second third fourth and sixth arch only so now what is important regarding the tongue is it develops in relation to the pharyngeal arches in the floor of developing mouth so medial most part of the mandibular arch that is the first arch you can see so medial most portion of this it proliferates to form the two lingual swellings two lingual swellings are separated by another swelling in the midline called as tuberculum impar immediately behind the tuberculum impar there is uh, the epithelium proliferates to form a down growth called as thyroglossal duct which forms the thyroid gland another swelling it appears in relation to the medial end of the second third and fourth arches called as hypobranchial eminence this eminence shows a subdivision into cranial part which is called as copula related to the second and third arches called as the copula then caudal part related to the fourth arch so caudal part it forms the epiglottis anterior two third part part of the tongue now we are basically with these structures that is two lingual swellings tuberculum impar and foramen cecum then hypobranchial eminence with cranial and caudal portion so anterior two third portion of the tongue is derived from the tuberculum impar and two lingual swellings the posterior one third portion is by the third arch mesoderm you can see posterior most part is from the fourth arch mesoderm so that is the diagram and this is a sequence of event which is happening so fusion is happening like this so initial it is bifid later on a shape is coming anterior to third portion of the tongue then this is the part which is arising from this uh, you can say part of the uh, foramen cecum portion so this portion so coming to this portion posterior one third which is derived from the third arch mesoderm and posterior most part is arising from the fourth arch mesoderm now posterior one third part is formed by the cran cranial part of the hypobranchial eminence which is a third arch mesoderm in this process the mesoderm of the second arch is buried below the surface you can see here so second arch is buried below the surface of the third arch so third arch mesoderm grows over it to fuse with the mesoderm of the first arch so the in if we see the structure that what are the structure which are contributing to the development of the tongue so five sources of development of the tongue is there two lingual swellings then tuberculum impar then foramen cecum portion then cranial part of the hypobranchial eminence and caudal part of the hypobranchial eminence so musculature is derived from occipital myotomes the epithelium is first made up of single layer of cells and later on gets stratified and papillae are formed the taste buds are formed in relation to the terminal branches of the innervating nerve fibers keeping in mind the embryological origin nerve supplies anterior to third portion is supplied by the lingual branch of the mandibular nerve which is the post traumatic nerve and cauda tympani is the pre traumatic nerve of the which is a branch of facial nerve so in my lecture of pharyngeal arches i told you regarding the pre traumatic and post traumatic nerves the posterior one third is supplied by glossopharyngeal nerve nerve of third arch and posterior most is supplied by superior laryngeal nerve nerve of fourth arch and musculature is supplied by the hypoglossal nerve as they are from the occipital myotomes now coming to the anomalies of the tongue so there may be a macroglossia large tongue microglossia small tongue and a glossia there may be tongue may be absent so tongue may be bifid then ankyloglossia or tongue tie apical part may be attached to the floor of mouth by an overdeveloped frenulum then tongue may be attached to palate called as ankyloglossia superior then red rhomboid shaped smooth zone in front of foramen cecum can be seen due to persistence of the tuberculum impar then thyroid tissue may be present in the tongue either under the mucosa or within the muscles then remnant of the thyroglossal cyst may form cyst at the base of tongue that fissure may be present on the surface of tongue so this is all about the anomalies of tongue so 
इफ यू लाइक माई लेक्चर्स काइंडली लाइक इट शेयर इट एंड सब्सक्राइब इट थैंक यू वेरी मच